Okay, um, this is your second exercise under music theory, and it says that the staff, high and low, notes that are high on the staff have a higher sound or pitch. So in music, you know already high notes and low notes, but how you write it on the staff is what matters. Okay, so now look at it very carefully. When the note goes, okay, not that, but as you can see, this is up and that is down. So the fact that it's up, it means that that's a high note. And the fact that it's down means there's a low note. So now question says that draw a note on the indicated line of space. Then circle the highest note you drew on the staff. So you do that by answering the entire question. Like I said before, this is theory, paperwork, pencil, okay? Because in studying music, you learn three things. One, to play, two, to write, and then three, to also read, all right? So now you are learning how to write. Um, in the other section, you'll be learning how to read, okay? So we are working together. So as you have always said, I've promised you that at the end of the session, you know how to read, you know how to write, and how to speak the language. You can do what everybody is doing, especially all musicians are doing, including writing, reading, and then also speaking the language. Okay, so on this very exercise, basically, it's very simple. Now, when it comes to exercise 3, it says that circle the high notes. You see, circle the high notes in each pair so you have two 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 so your job is to circle the high notes okay as you can see that's two in the in the box two in the box two 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 so you circle the highest notes all right okay so basically very simple this is your second paper that you need to work on uh, i'm moving on to the next paper